Fraser has been doing a lot of sniping at Heather's work ethic under his breath, which probably stung worse than the charter guest who told her to go F herself. So, Heather, I hope you won't tell me to go F myself as we play Defend Your Work Ethic. Get ready to respond to your second stew's criticism. How fun for you. Uh, when Fraser was here last week, he said your tone toward him was cold and blunt and never delivered in a nice way. Why is he wrong? Because as a manager, I'm not meant to speak to him as his mother. I'm meant to speak to him as a boss. We're here to get a job done. And I didn't realize he was so sensitive. Fraser said one way you could improve as a leader would be to actually do a bit of work. Do you feel this crew, this critique is unjust? Yeah, definitely a little unjust. And I think once Fraser becomes a chief stew, he'll understand it a little more. Um, Raina concurred with Fraser that he was speaking nothing but facts. How would a deckhand know how you were running your interior? Well, it's easy. They're best friends, so obviously they're going to kind of have each other's back, and I can understand that, but she's never on the interior, so, you know, obviously. Fraser was adamant that you were pulling him in too many different directions, the first charter, and not running the interior as smoothly as he expected. To what do you attest to his feeling this way? I can understand his frustration. He came off of a 90 meter boat where he usually only has two guests on at a time. He's not used to having eight guests being on charter and have to be a stew on a smaller boat. On a smaller boat, you have to wear many hats. You have to jump through service, go back to beds and heads, go back to helping Rachel, do some laundry. You have to be all over the place. And if you can't handle that, maybe you shouldn't be on a charter yacht. Um, why was it that Fraser uh, knew where to locate the dustpan on the vessel, but when Raina radioed you looking for it, you told her you didn't know and didn't have time to look for her? It was the first 48 hours I'd been on that boat dealing with an all-new crew, charter guest, trying to make sure everything's going smoothly. At the end of the day, I was like, go grab a piece of paper from the bridge and make that your dustpan. Like, there's bigger fish to fry right now. It's all bigger picture. Well done, Heather. Thanks for watching. Watch more clips here and subscribe to our channel here. See ya.